fam, it's Sienna and I am here with a video partnering with Eva Hair. So I'm gonna be trying out two new wigs. These are synthetics. Let's just get right into it. We have two of these boxes. Our wig comes all packaged up. They do give a wig cap. That's nice, I love when they give wig caps. Cause who wants to make a separate trip to the store to buy a dollar wig cap? It's like, come on, just send it with a wig. <laughs> Take her out. Oh, she's long. Ooh. Okay, Miss Thing. The only thing I wish they did is I like it when they send something to put the wig back into, like a silk bag or something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush out some of these curls with my fingers. They are brushing out really nicely and easily. It's very soft. I'm not getting like tangling and everything, which is nice for a synthetic. These curls are actually very lovely. They look really nice. You know when synthetic wigs, sometimes they look like soups fake and weird? No, these are gorgeous. Oh my God, it's like what you wish your hair looked like when you curled it. <laughs> and it's pretty much matching almost exactly my hair. It's probably a little bit more ashy, like a little bit more silvery. Here is the, let me show the front. So the front of the wig is very nice. Here's the inside. So you can part it a few inches back. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and cut the lace because it just looks crazy when you try on wigs and there's lace showing. So while I'm doing this, you guys who have been with me for a little while, you know that like seven or eight months ago, all my hair fell out. <laughs> I have a whole video talking about it, why I cut my hair so short, because all my hair fell out. And I thought I was taking care of it, but as it turns out, I wasn't doing the proper maintenance required to keep bleach blonde hair from becoming dry and brittle and breaking off. My hair has been growing out for months. I can finally get it into this itty bitty, teeny tiny, angry little ponytail. I'm still wearing wigs like crazy. So I am constantly on the hunt for good wigs. And you guys are always asking me, my friends in real life are always asking me, where should I get a wig from? We must continue trying new wigs. <laughs> All right, so this one is the Game of Thrones Daenerys inspired grayish blonde synthetic lace front. It is $89. That is actually a pretty good price for a lace front synthetic. Basically what I pay when I go to the wig store, I usually pay like anywhere from 65 to 100. I'm the type of person that I don't really like spending more than 100 bucks. 125 if the synthetics really good and exactly what I'm looking for so okay let's try this one I mean we might as well try on this wig cap since they sent it to us right straight out the gate I want to say that the wig cap is like slightly large for my head anyway and then it's kind of doing like a weird little thing here but I feel like I can use a flat iron and just get that out back it up a little bit so the hairline looks pretty good and this is obviously without gluing it down and without putting any makeup on it or anything. I like to flip my hair to the side. Okay, that looks like a million times better <laughs> when I let it fall more in my face. The color is so pretty, the texture is so pretty. I mean, this is really nice. Stick it behind my ear. So the only thing I'm not liking about this is the curl pattern, how it gets kind of like a weird crimp right here. Okay, flipping it to the left side is much better than the right side. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, it just went from zero to hero by flipping it onto the opposite side. Okay, so it's obviously just the way that it was styled or the way that it was smushed into the box. I want to say you can use low heat. It says high temperature resistant silk. That to me means that you can probably use some kind of heat on it. Always use your flat iron on low and don't hold it onto the hair for too long on any synthetic, no matter what the synthetic wig says. Can you see the back of it? How cute is this? These curls are everything. These are a bit of a tighter curl than Daenerys from Game of Thrones, if you watch Game of Thrones. She always wears her hair like this part straight back and then this part here, like in little braids. This will be braided and then it will be pulled to the back. I'm not gonna sit here and braid this, but I just wanna get the essence of what they were going for with this wig so we can all see it. I'm not mad at it. This is obviously where it's meant to be parted because that's the way it naturally falls. And it's definitely a look. I'm really impressed with this. It feels soft. I feel like I could travel with this wig and just whip it out. It's already styled. It's already good to go. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. This one was definitely, um, this is a winner. I would definitely recommend this for the price point and the way that it feels and how thick this wig is and how long this wig is. This is definitely worth the $89. Oh shit, there was two wigs in that box. 
I thought we were just reviewing two wigs today. We're reviewing three. Yes, Eva wigs coming through. Okay, we have another curly blonde, but this one's way shorter. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. Yes, this is so cute. Oh my God, I hope this looks good on me. I love the color. I can't wait to get it on my head. <laughs> I don't know what my obsession is with wigs, you guys. I just think that there's nothing that looks better than a wig. Like no matter how many extensions you wear or anything, just wigs always look so fucking glamorous. And especially the synthetics, you guys, they're just so easy to pop on. Like if you're just gonna wear these for like a night out or whatever, synthetics are amazing. You just have to find a good one that doesn't look so like extra shiny or, you know, fakey, you know what I mean? And you'll know, you guys, you'll know <laughs> when you try a wig on if it looks fake on you or not. Okay, like straight away, this one looks more fake than the other one in my opinion on me because it's just on camera. It's reading as more shiny. Also, maybe I just don't like a metal part on myself, but this one is styled very like 1950s, like cute little bouffant type of a look. Um, if I had a headband, oh my God. You guys, this is so like Mad Men. You know what I mean? Like that 60s type of like 50s, 60s look. How stinking cute. I mean, this is, this is a look. This is like that sweet, innocent, cute girl. She wears poodle skirts. She a little saucy on the side, but she likes to wear an apron when she greets her man at the door with like a, a pie. That's what I look like right now. <laughs> I don't own any wigs like this. It's so cute. Okay, so what I'm gonna also try to do is see if I can pull out some of my own natural hair underneath of that wig cap. Pull the wig cap back a little bit and try to see if I can blend my hair a little bit with this wig. Whenever I do this, if you get a wig that's the same color as your hair, essentially it makes the wig, I just have to take it off, okay. Essentially it makes the wig look like just a lot of extensions. Okay, I'm just gonna stick the wig on. So if you move the part over to wherever your hair starts and then comb your hair back a little bit over where the wig starts. I'm just looking at the viewfinder to try this out. I don't even know if this is working, but, and then this hair right now is kind of like glued down because I have hairspray in it. If that wasn't there, I think this is working, you guys. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I think it actually is working. This wig is actually a little bit too big on my head. It feels very large, so I will have to pin this one down in the back. Yeah, there's a lot of space in here because I don't have any hair to fill it up. Like if I had really long hair and I had to put braids and all this stuff, then it would definitely like fill up the wig cap, but it's not. So we have the side part with my own natural hair sticking out of the front. Obviously you can see where the wig starts and my hair begins, but it's really not bad. Like that is not a bad blend. Actually, let me move it over more. It keeps rotating. <laughs> it's really, really important that you get the part to line up with your part. So this is pretty much the best I can do for the moment. Just looking in a viewfinder and then trying to blend my hair with the wig hair. Because people will think you're wearing a wig, but then they'll come in close and they'll be like, wait a minute, that's her hair growing out of her head. Weird. That's how we confuse them. This is definitely a cute look. Okay, so this one is also 89. For the length and the amount of shine, I kind of feel like it, that might be like a, a little much, but it is still really beautiful and really cute. So I can't be mad at it. I just wish it wasn't as shiny. Last wig, let's move on. This one is more of a bob. First impressions, it doesn't look as shiny as the last one. It has a little bit of a more brown root. Not too fond of the root color. For me personally, um, I would like a darker root than that so that it looks more like my natural root. This means that I'm not gonna be able to pull my hair out in the front because the roots are not gonna match. It almost looks greenish. I'm reserving judgment till I try it on. And just always keep in mind, guys, whenever you get a wig, there's always going to be some finessing some playing around with it that you're going to have to do to make it work for you. Okay, now that it's on, actually I'm not mad at these roots. Oddly enough, this is like really cute. I like the style, I like the crimpiness of it. This one for some reason sheds more than the other ones. I don't know why, maybe because the hairs are shorter. I don't, I don't understand, but this one is shedding more so. Yeah, let me get all the extra hairs off me. Like. There's, okay, I'm not sure how the back looks, but I'm gonna show you. <laughs> 
So it's like shorter in the back, longer in the front. This is a very stylized look. This is much more modern, but you could also kind of like wear one of those little headbands here and make it like a great Gatsby look, I feel like. I really was anticipating like hating these roots. Like honestly, oh, my lipstick is getting all over my face. Whatever, we're just gonna leave it like that. But I was anticipating hating the roots. I don't hate them. Hmm, very cute. If you wanna try a short haircut, you don't wanna actually cut your hair. This is a good one. I might actually cut this just a little bit shorter that maybe not I kind of like how it's long in the front and short in the back I don't know it's it's a look and this was the cheapest one of all of them this one was 65 69 sorry that's an even better number <laughs> If you guys are interested in any of these wigs, I will be leaving the links below, of course. And I'm actually really happy and impressed with these synthetics. These are definitely up to par. I love you and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye guys.